Hanzi XQ Aramba, Stana Aramba, Take 5 Yaramba Hanzi Rudoro Mari, Hanzi Ngari Gone, Shino Toda Mashuga Dezi Hala XQ Aramba, Stana Aramba, TP Yaramba Hanzi Rudoro Mari, Hanzi Ngari Gone, Shino Toda Mashuga Dezi Hala XQ Aramba, Stana Aramba, TP Yaramba Hanzi Rudoro Mari, Hanzi Ngari Gone, Shino Toda Mashuga Dezi Hala How many minutes? Always I think around about this time, you just say it's been an hour, because a minute just makes it sound like How many years now? How many years? How many years? How many years? Look, when you're on radio actually, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been four years. Yeah, no, yeah. three years. Three years. I think three. Mm. Or two going into three. But, but anyway. Still. But how long has been this career? Mm. A lifetime. Man. Lifetime. Because mm. right now, I know I'm, I'm singing for people that weren't there when I started singing. So can we talk about when you started singing? Yeah. Let's, let's, go, let's take you can, it you, all you, the you way. You can't have a future with no history. That is true. And so. you see, one of the reasons why we decided to tell this story, because I, I see a, a lot of things online a lot of disrespect and uh, not just a lot of disrespect but people who just think that this thing started with them and they have actually no appreciation for what came before them so we're gonna uh go way back into time then we're gonna zero in in a certain portion of that career so let me take you back to so is this that time if you if you was a dj you'd be like what we're gonna do right now go back yeah 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 all right all right cool so i want to start in 1999 the future album drops Shamis Entertainment, Delani, right? Before we talk about that project, I want to know what was the state of Zimbabwean urban music or just music in general. What were you listening to as an urban youth? Um, the honest truth? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was vibing on Keith Murray, uh, Ice Cube, Ruby Clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was me, you know, I, I was... I was in between Biggie and Tupac because I like them both for different reasons. So I wasn't really about the local, but the only local act that it amazed me was the one, I think it was the one with the African Revenge guys when Soul For Real came through. Mm. That was my first time to see a local act. And Are you for real? Yeah, at first I actually didn't know the guys were local eh? and because they had so much energy. They had some name. Because mm. it was a group of four guys, I think. They were not yet Africa they, Revenge. They were not Africa Revenge. Mm. They had some name. A and just when I saw them, I was told, it's a local guy. But then I was like, yeah, yeah, I could never do that, man. I'm here for so for real. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I. So, but, but, you know, they, they blew up. Then soon after that, then that's, I think that's when the local guys started coming through. Right. But, but so if people were not, what, what was radio playing at the time? Radio... Radio was playing in international music. That's the honest truth. Only, because when, when I when when the time I grew up, it wasn't about it wasn't like now where you can find an eighteen year old listening to Japreza That's true. Or Tuku. If you were young, you were vibing to outside music. Mm -hmm. You know, Nikaseti ago TDK, Chichi, which double of air. But now the light is they listen to to local stuff mostly mm -hmm. you, you actually find some of them that don't even know what's happening out there that is so true. back then it was tupac biggie and then alir r kelly that, mm. that kind of stuff yeah i remember once I had a conversation uh and you were telling me that you were growing up ku glenora and <laughs> as you were growing up in glenora uh there was actually a rift between people who used to listen to reggae dancehall because the reggae dancehall sound was the sound uh, yes, of yes, the yes, ghetto, yes, the hood. Yes. But also people who were listening to hip-hop or R&B, Vines and Punk. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a mm -hmm. bit on that? Um, I, I got to listen to, not dancehall dance, but uh, more reggae and dub because of my uncles. Because mm -hmm. like in the ghetto, it was the thing, it would be, what was that kind of... Every Saturday, you know, my ten, eleven, we should go one. My cool is, I say, speak up a window, a check alone, chichi, but you know, a dub, the the the, 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 they didn't have that much energy. You stand up or, mm. you know, as they were then. So, they weren't as vocal. But from the past to now, they're still not as vocal. So, 
Safana had to come be like, yo, yo, what you say, man? <laughs> what, so, to <laughs> yo, what to do with that? I want to put a on that. G. What to do? So, um, it was like that. Figure my Jinny Dangan, Red Mashuri, Black Umberi, when Chris Cross came through. Mm -hmm. So, I think no cover urban stuff. I I know any dance hall. Mm. Right. So then, from then on, they started rapping and all, but no one really appreciated. And then, because we had now the, when the future dropped. Mm. Take me to that moment when the future dropped. When the future dropped, and I'm like, what? So I can actually do this and in Shona, and people will listen. And people don't understand. Uh -huh. So when that happened, Isusu, we weren't singing. I used to dance a lot. Mm. But we weren't singing. But when that happened, it was like something to set you free. Like, yo, you can actually do more. And I remember, and I remember, and I remember, I I won't lie. So now when that happened, uh you you know there was the whole dance hall and there was my punky or whatever I eat a rich salad. Now he started to find out to that life go to turn my baby and I'm going to be honest my baby jaja and I said the boys they my DJ why because, because it's key the, to no, highlight some of that they were they were they were associated with uh, rough riders ngunze au china china but we we time we asungeza jiji asungeza geza jiji so now it was up kuna afa na ida ji rich pang ni chi 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 boys you know i'm american what do you want to say american now jiji it's it's also crucial to note that around that time that's where the term salad was coined and it was a dis 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 we chose that because we then liked the going out to the clubs listening to that music the vibe and everything what was the club scene like at the time because uh when you're talking about soul for real uh for example that music used to play a lot in circus uh, it, which was one of the premium my, my, my entry into the club was really funny, um, I must say. I, I grew up to Shikara like at a later stage in Sanda Pindam Club. But what happened was I had the soundtrack to Have Plenty, the movie Have Plenty. Mm. Papa made a Jay-Z song, Always Who Kill I loved that song to bits. I was crazy about that song. I was crazy about was that song. Was it on song. CD or was it, was it was on cassette? Cassette. And yeah. I was in that. And there was something magical about that moment. It's too good. So I was passing road in the archipelago here, right? In Kufamba town, and then I hear this bass line. Bass line, what is there? I'm looking around with you. So I just uh, so for me it was music actually so that happened and i kept going and going and then now i kept being exposed to music the, st the stuff that i like i'm like hey these people like this stuff then that's the areas now i was this guy that could sing to these songs i was singing katie and everything and people would listen so we started recording ourselves and we started calling ourselves uh we, we had a name I can't remember, but I'll, I'll remember. We had mm. a name, then we started singing. 
And were you R and B dudes or you were we, we a hip hop artist? We were R and B dudes, man. We had, <laughs> we had songs. I just thought of one of the songs, and you can imagine on a short one. Yeah, so we had R and B guys, and I think I, I, I was rapping still. I wanted to sing, but I was doing a little bit of rap. Mm. But then, Taisek was still right. Right, my right. Those are boys, you know, they are mocking you, but they know what you are doing. You are not sure what you are doing. You are not sure what you are doing. You are not sure You are not sure what you are doing. You are not sure what you are doing. You are not sure what you are doing. All the way, but my passion, I, then I was doing motor mechanics. Right. Right, at, at Polytech. Mm. Right. But I was doing it because it was something I was supposed to do after school, you know, I'm doing it, but the passion wasn't there. Right. Then I, I, I really liked clothes. Then I met up with one guy. There was a phone shop. It was Irema phone shop, yeah. When I was at the time, yeah. Mm. It was Irema phone shop. So there's a certain phone shop I always used to go to. To call the honey. For now, baby, say, 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 be angry, but there's an ring. So there's this one guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some throwback. Yeah. So he was running, running, running. I was going to do that. I was going to do that. I was going to do that. I was going to do So I was going to I then we visited the Bali one time with Jin. I don't think it's Rajin. Then I fell in love with it. Then we started hanging them first year at a cool area. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, but in the one no buy she could club or no buy to go to Gazira to take it's Rajin and watch buy a said go away. So we couldn't saw. But the simplest thing to do for the chicks now, since hanging around the, the, the tailor's place, Embe Zama baby that there is a Gazira. So I met you and get see one of my moms and got me. So if you just take like a uh, half a meter. So, because I'm mm. a reject, when we tender it, so we butter needs oxide. Ugo, when we pend it, I'm sore. We pend it, we Then you do the same thing. We come cut the foot, so that then would be a tube top, mm. and that would be a skirt. Then we started selling those things to us. Can I go club? Right, and oh, we were huge. Word. Boy, it's there, 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 there. But the thing is, that my tube, we begin so we were big hit with the ladies, and we made money. Now that same phone shop we used to hang around. Dilanangani studio from Golis Plaza. Right. You see. So now the guys used to come and make their calls after studio in what or what. Then we started noticing, ah, boys, is it Roy and Royce? Royce. 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 That's when we became Roy and Royce. <laughs> uh, so now, boys, I've got a situation of paper, I'm going to get a little bit of paper. Then I'm going to get a little bit of paper. I'm going to get a little bit of paper. We're devolved. Now we're making our clothes. Mm -hmm. So now they also wanted. So it it was the meeting of two two worlds. Yeah. Urban fashion and urban music. You see now. It, yeah. So now they also wanted the stuff that we had. Right. And like I know dudes, she stage paper to think it's a gina on. Then we sold a couple of stuff, chi chi chi, then it moved to take five. Where's the language? No, 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 but, but, but before you move to take five, mm -hmm. right? So through and through at the time, no, you were when mostly When I moved to close. take five, I wasn't talking to anybody still. You were still the guy who was hooking up people with clothes. Hooking up people with clothes. I used to go clubbing. Then I, I was just now the, the, the guy who was a guy who was a guy. But he took it to Maria. He talked things around him. And see those major players, guys, I tried to sell them some stuff. But yeah, they, they were on another level. But hey, hey that, that, that you didn't can't, bother you us. Can't, you can't so blame me okay. for trying. All right. So then people moved from the line. I don't know what had happened. It closed down or something. Then there was take five. You are nowhere close to the music. I'm then. nowhere close to the music. Right. Right. So now my clients, I'm going to go outside. And you have to go there. Now I have to go that side. So the talk was in Zanguka and the supply boys Zangu then take five and TBA. Oh, na handuku pa wangu na masi no. Go, we also want stuff. What can you make for us? I know I can do you a suit, in a red chamembe. Yeah, go look you around TBA. What TBA? I did that. So they were already called chamembe by then. Oh, they, they were, they were. I think they were. It was before all all the hype, right? So that I can do that stuff for you guys. Chi 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 chi. So I said, Abo. So in the next week, boys, 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 boys
boys go my young woman sinner, boys as good as a bag. Boys are buying a bag. Because Papa Sina, they didn't have the money. But I wanted a man, my young leader say, your man. Studio time.
Black Star, Go back to the place where you're always going to ku studio mm -hmm. to supply clothes, uh, to give people what they want. You're that guy. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. Uh, you're doing your thing, right? What was the vibe like? Being who was there uh, at the studio all, most of the time? What, what was happening at the time? It was crazy. Rocky was always singing. And he was kind of a scary dude. You know, like at, at that moment in time when I got into that environment, I think I was now the raster. Mm. Because they, they were up there, they were in touch with everything. You know, mm. I, I, I remember Rocky was singing that one, you're like a dream come true. I'm just looking at this guy, I'm like, okay. But now you can't speak. Right. And I, so it was okay. Everyone was just doing stuff. It was a crazy place whereby they would make a bit. It had no owner. The, the producer would just make a bit. Say, oh, you'd think, Kuti, this is your song. And this is how people got on. And you're singing to the producer. And then someone from 2BG would just come. But Blush or Pinda. But in the end, you're going to go to the end. You're going to go to the end. You're going to go to the end. I don't, that's how it used to happen. So the, 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 the environment at the studio where was, 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 was very challenging. It was very challenging because this is. I don't know what I'm saying. So he would just start making a bit. So, so what, what, was, what was Take Five's role? What was TBA's role? What was Rocky's role? Because uh, Rocky wasn't producing then. He wasn't producing. He was just an artist. So Take Five and TBA. I want to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Right. So I, I think with the puzzle it are in my studio, rather than the sugar but now with with time, panel are gone. No one not gone. So when we walk as like a faction guy, we are going over. Na take na T T B A. We are going to go to Zero. Because Zero became a nemesis to. Yeah. 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 From from that. So do pass it a kaya kuti. When two angwa mengwa kusaidu, magwasa that. That's why each member was a bit stronger. Mm. So, so Rudor Mamari, when did it come out? Did it come out before the Chamembe Volume One, or it, it, it came out? It came out before. It came out before. So, so now I, I had a position. It came out before uh, the second Chamembe, I think. Because on the first Chamembe, I still wasn't singing. Two thousand and four. I'm the guy with the skits for my Chamembe. Which skit is that? All of them. All of them. I am. I'm a baudi. That's you. That's me. <laughs> I was still not the singing guy. Yes, eh, Wait. Best I'm combi. Chichi was on this baby, but just on Chichi. You were that dude. I could have been the comedian. In Yeah. So, 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 do you know, let, let me tell you my experience with Chame, but Trugu Gwaji, Commission School King, and but when face, I don't know, Anderson, Maweri, and a, and a Walkman, no get it, but Atozo, no Walkman, ya Atozo, Gumberi, Gwe Munu, I said, because Walkman, in a G, in a speaker, for Sagachi, but time, you, you, you talk about when a Walkman, why, Zingwa Gwaji, can I go, you get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Walkman, you get a shaft, kwa, Pazas, my putty, my key, look at a walkman, my one, and my toes, a terrier after lights out in a nine. Mom, I know a terrier, a chee. Papa Poya, my way, you know, get a tatangons one, a pup to a whole room, a good, my way, and a temperature, maybe. King Vatanga Famba, yeah, good, my way, and a temperature, maybe. If I'm not mistaken, the blue movie. She can't see. Any temperature member. Yeah. Ska Kinga, Munuese, Mawera, I don't get president, Paguaj. 
king kuti ai wa twitter munyengerera wai kurongo yawa bata ma chips kana ma puti over ngoti ku king ai wa wai ngono see over ngoti ji ko kana wa kuti terra cha membe ji on koda king man waka unganira walkman iruku tuku terra cha membe but here's the key thing man kuti unyazo zero to waka terra cha membe ga ongo siri kuimba ma records pa ku ma records wa manzo wa ji pa radio ukufana ku recite ma skits king kuti tinyaso zero to iwewe waka terra ji sikawa na ongo hatu nzuka cha membe ongo hatu rinezi mwenye aza kato siya na ji ne boys is cause pane ma face akato zeta mbiri ne kutora ma koso ne kugona kutawara ma skits epa cha membe vari tijaja cha mangwiro eti ndina andri tijaja cha mangwiro kaya ndiri mkoti kaya nini So that, that was me with a guy called Carlos Murawa. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> so, the construction of the Chamembe tape. Who actually came up with the idea to put skits and what kind of skits were there? We 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 can, the idea of the skits we we came up with. You talking about such much shit because in in always I used to listen to the um, American albums uh, and there skits. American albums that that skits on them that skits like crazy mm -hmm. and i think even my albums i'm i'm, I'm still the only artist with skits my, my, my album so we came up with that idea we did that on the first album then after that that's when i released ruloro emare in nandane ruloro emare after right. that at the now i was in a bit of a commanding position because i've got a hit song that's out and people are asking for me and i'm no more that guy who i'm i'm just going to i'm xq or shemi nathan's dancer or i'm holding uh enemies mic when now it was confess we are we mean and ramadan there we gonna go ya nae so now and now that I pana pana nae authority baby so no nzana enemy and the show ka chichi and but we are going to love ah can not love ma ngo ngo is going to 50 yang go can I dey nini we are mentor now so then varas u chinja manje vango ku love ai nini manje ji kuti just now i knew i think i have to add more songs so that's when i recorded in a row I recorded Ameno, I recorded Duff Correra, um, I recorded a song with Trevor Dongo. I had like four hip hop songs, Angaga Penga, then a couple of other songs. So now when I did that, then uh, Tech Five says, uh, I think we should do a, an album around the Bad Boys of Chamembe. And we're going to put these four songs on them. Ah, how do you put four of my songs on a compilation in the Saturday? Was, was this post? Chamembe. Post the second one. Post the second one. Chamembe yeah. plus. Yes. Uh, no. Ashbude. You can't take these songs because uh, these songs they make my album. I'm a transformer song. Ashandi Apapa. Hear this. I'm 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 a tailor. And it was there with a space bar. Chi arajit was safe a computer. Manate manano na zinfesi na zinjunya brown zinfesi. Chendro kwa papa zinai mona zibata bata chichim. Manate ah wangu. ndikumato <laughs> the music yangu ah 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 zvitoko zvokunakidza ke zvichisa ndipo pena la 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 ndaf korera this is new this is fresh choko na zvibudisa that's why even up to now if you listen to the song ameno you know tanga chinzi same thing same thing yeah same thing na said the same thing ya kevi can i sing the same thing again because nothing was mixed or mastered so if the if those songs had been mixed This is how we're listening to it. Boys, they're creative with the woman. Papa, see the same thing. Papa, see the same thing. Yes, same thing. Because nothing was touched. So, the end is a jinraji raw, and it became a hit album. So, before we get to that album, right? Let's let's backtrack a bit. Because when we were looking from the outside, seeing all of you guys. Yet, if you would mention Rocky, Stana, uh, Trinity, Take Five, all of these guys, Tengo Dai Boys the Chamembe. 
right so what was chambebe was it a studio was it a movement was it a group was it a collective what what was it because the honest thing if, um looking at it now it was the studio because then it got to be sold really yes what do you mean that's how it that, that that's how it ceases to exist because somebody bought it somebody bought the name because it was big like that because i'm sure that person bought the name thinking is going to get the artist as well so when the person bought the the name then my artists now there were more studios and people were more creative on Vongota and went in different directions now take five couldn't use that name again because he had sold it and then tried, that's how it died but but backtracking though that's what i sure it then that's when they started recording the the plus which had done uh trevor dongo trevor dongo actually got to be there at the studio because he was in highfield i got you i just couldn't need out denji after the whole door we married or or we married was a smash plus in dropping that she didn't know him by name and to tell you the honest truth i'd make him chill paget we said i'm under busy on our energy now tombo bigger because you know that we raised four boys and a mother Rumbo big and we say 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 until I don't blaze I was kubuda. Until I'm just a hundred busy. In the place I'm under busy. Because what's that? What's that? What time you? That's that. I'm under busy. Until Trevor Dongo man started saying I'm just a hundred big. Me na me no bad to big. Tichi krumbi zay. Pado cheko. Bombs are going to get. I to check a mavage Trevor. You roll out with Tichi Tichi. Until then I'm all right. And Tichi, and you go kunzu kuchamebe. For no reason kuchamebe. But I ain't a Trevor Dongo, which I may be a shigago, but I never song a excuse, a song a excuse. Um, then the moon did a disarudo, can I wear a page go? There's a bit of shit to do. Can do, can do, can do. That's when Trevor got on the hook, then he got another on, on another hook. Um, and already, plus, I know him, but then Trevor was then a solo artist until he met up with McD. So you you were you you saw all the different eras of the ebe music movement from different sides right mm -hmm. in the formative years you were there but not only are you selling clothes but you're also a dancer which means you're going for shows so so it means you 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 are understanding how it was impacting people i was i was actually i think that's what helped me because as a dancer right i was a dancer with an agenda which he, you know i want to be that guy mm. in the long run so i could see when people are bored then I was the guy that's supposed to come and what? And then hype up. Hype up with your nuts. Okay, the pong up. Then I became the guy that could hype up the club. Mm -hmm. Then I became the guy that could hype up the club. Then I became the guy that could the guy that could hype up the crowd, but he also has a song. So, so well, that's why you were saying enemy was asking. I don't get his work show. I mean, but we are going to blast fire. That's why we are going to blast fire. No, 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 but we never had that. I would go to a show because I'm the guy that followed XQ. would go to a hotel. But I would stay more with the people to wait. When he wakes up, then that was me. So coming from there, and right now he told me to I laugh. Because where I've been, I can just go back there. I can go and chill up a little bit. Bow down, I'm not man for sure. Because it's no biggie for me. I've been there. Is it true that at the peak of the of the Chamembe era, right, when people when people were gigging, uh, people would go to some of the most remote areas, and people knew the music. Is it is it true? It was like that, and even now, if we go to outskirts, people know the craziest of songs. People ask you for songs you don't even remember anymore. Timbro, like what? Timbro song, yeah. Song, you make it, I, 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 or. But now, what happened then? People follow movements. Mm. It's better for people to follow a movement than to follow one person. That's true. That's how you find dance hall right now. It's got a lot of people because when dance hall started, I'm. Um, if I'm wrong, people will tell me I'm wrong. But I'm the first guy that started to do my street bashes, Muglenora. Until I was banned, my police was going to arrest me for foot. New Year's was it the New Year's? I used to do my New Year's. Chinzi, Chinzi, Kwa Jiga, because they used to call me Jiga. 
since I took that gig alone, couldn't gig, couldn't gig, couldn't gig until Cause someone's wife was in the yard and the husband came looking for her, <laughs> and the wife wouldn't come out because the place was vibing. Married the footy and all my police saga. Teaser, teaser, teaser. Yeah, my police saga. Then I was banned for like three years because you're not gonna have my parties anymore. Then that's when my gig started moving. Went up Glenora C, Glenora C, and but I know it was Mbari. Then Rose, I found a little dancehall. But I grew over and then. They had a more crowd and it wasn't expensive. It's never expensive to do dance. It's never expensive to be Murasta. You don't even need the barber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it was easy to do dance mm. on because even now you can just say and in a moon did it chichi da 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 chichi on a Danny Minos was going yo flossing with the Johnny K. What but what Johnny on found the hair dog guns of anagana china just also that you go guns at each other. But true to that in each in one so. It's difficult. It's always been difficult for people rapping or or doing hip hop. So then it was easy for people to adapt. Ne ne dance That's ndupa shaka so putika even groups ishtanga kuno kuno zikira. It's it's a good thing you you made a separation. You put urban grooves and dance Personally, I I have qualms with the idea. We don't know it. He knows the urban grooves. He knows the dance Because as far as I'm concerned, David Chifunyi was doing hip hop, for mm-hmm. example. You were doing hip hop. But Stana, uh, uh, Sniper was doing dance hall. Uh, Enemy was a straight up rapper then though. What people failed to get, what people failed to get, it was an urban groove. It was just a groove that just came from nowhere. Mm. It was a different kind of groove. But then the word urban groove, it just stuck, it, it had a certain ring to it. Mm. Not that people think it's a type of music. And because c- people associate it with the, they think it's a type of music. Because nah, I even nah. noticed the producers that nah, came after. Because nah. you're not going to say uh, major players urban grooves but not hip hop because it's, it's very hip hop but it came out during it, that era it, it was in that era people might want to refuse but kingpin was in that era he, he was in because that he was era. being produced nana delani nanani mm. you see but Rwanda ko associate but you do it we are but then now when they do that they destroy uh is it wrong for me to say for example i, I think people were actually now regressing when we were holding on to for example because when you were doing rudor wemari in in 2004-5, right? You already crossover. You already dancehall and hip hop, right? You already pop. I was doing both. Actually. You, you were doing yeah. both, for example. So when now people now hold on to tags, and say this is Zim hip hop or this Zim dancehall, as if it's something new that came today. I think we're actually regressing, not progressing, because you, if know, you, listen- you know, you know, it's crazy. Um, okay, there we, we had we had sniper doing dancehall and who else? Uh, there was even Willem Tight had some cuts. And Kwaguna and Blackfire and what? But you find reckless. Yeah, you, you he was yeah, deep into it. Yeah. But then you find good one of my biggest songs that then blew. It was Dance Home Dara Band. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That, that was Dara straight Dance Home. But people just called it the music. storytelling on that was fire, though. <laughs> people just called it music. I remember I only had that sound going to Dr. Clarence. But anyway, let's go back to Chamembe. Mm. So they did the first one. Mm. But now Kwakwane, money was coming in. Trust me. Did those guys actually get paid? Did people get paid from the Chamembe project? People did not get paid. But air people got paid. Explain for me. Right. I'm not going to lie. Take five and the family, they made money. They, they had cars. We didn't have cars, man. They, they, they had masali books. I got two, man. They, 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 were, they were the cars. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I remember Gigi, the sister, had a car. Take five, they had a car. The mom had a car. Everyone could see those things happening because even you guys were buying the tapes. Right. But isusu atina chakawa. So. You're telling me that all the proceeds that I, I still think uh, Chamembe between Chamembe and Blue Movie, I think one of those tapes have to be one of the most selling albums in urban music it's of all time. Chamembe and and Pani was it a lucky and Angoni they had people saying to no, I want to sponsor you and I George Chimini, I think. Hmm. Uh, once the to sponsor any blazer from Pamaru to eat it. Don't go Buddha, we have our solo albums. Then the first actual album, Ragate went to Trinity. And those guys still cry up to now that Mapua Mari. From complaining, good guys, we didn't get money from Easy Jesus. And no, you didn't get money. I'm not going to go record my songs, but you guys are doing shows. 
every time you guys are making money, you're doing shows, around there. but anyway, we will do albums for you. So now that you look back at it, uh, what, was it justified though? Were people supposed to get paid from the Chamembe album? Because if you look at it from a business standpoint... If money wait, has been wait, made... Wait, if looking at it from a business standpoint, mm -hmm. let's say, Take Five owns the studio, right? And he's letting you record for free, which means that he's an executive producer, mm -hmm. right? Which means that he claims money as an executive producer before he actually claims money as a producer and composing, then maybe you get money. It's different from you, for example, where Rudor Wemari... You had already paid for it. Mm -hmm. So you owned this. I owned it. Yeah, you owned it. So unlike, for example, let's take Rocky and maybe a song like Ndoda or Ayaho, where he was practically maybe staying at Take 5 studio, right? He's not paying rent. He's not paying all this. And Take 5 is executive producer. He's doing all this. So is it justified that Take 5 maybe could have made all that sheets, all those sheets if from... If it's justified, then Tech Five is supposed to be going to Zimura to collect money now. So who's going to collect money now? It's the artist. Really? Yeah. So that means there's an injustice. Mm. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. If 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 it's his content, then all these artists they owe him money. All the money that they're collecting right now, it's supposed to be Tech Five. So, so the studio then essentially just died down because the momentum then died down. It's not a studio with no artists. That's true. Right. So the artists left because they felt they could do better. Right. So when the artists left and a whole lot of other factors got in there, uh, we started discovering new people, new producers, and then and so we had a little bit of knowledge and then another okay they they're now able to make their own beats and I and a junior brown so and him having sold the name so when that happened now people didn't want to go there because that whole association yeah guys simple and now he didn't have the artist and what are you gonna do next I, I found for example the chamember tape online on Spotify it's on Apple music who's claiming those royalties. Just in the whole tape? Yeah. I think it should be Metro. Oh, Metro put it up online? I, it should be because Nduka So mm. there's, two, there's two people's money out there. Trust me. Right now, if I got up and I went to Metro and I said, I want some money, they, must, they should have money to give me. Nyango Abur, it's 30 bucks or 10 bucks, but they must have money to give right, me. Right, right. So, so how did those deals with Metro work back in the day? They, they made you sign up things and all that, but now there was no proper follow-up to say, okay, show me, uh, show me the money, whatever, the money trail. Because this is, uh, I, I think a lot of history during that time is lost because number one, a lot of the artists didn't make money from the music. Uh, because there was no, there were no proper structures, and there was no proper management, and there was just no one who was. <laughs> Do you know what, what's funny about all this? How mm. people just got to wake up and change. People would only wake up when somebody's bought a car. <laughs> Could you like, oh. but you, wait, wait, sha, didn't we? Remember, but you don't want a motor, sha, How? <laughs> <laughs> so, or you read about radio? Yeah, you read about radio, but you want a motor. So, I think it was. It's always been a car thing with Zimbabweans. That's true. Okay, you, you can have a house or Mombe, Zagawanda, say Gumusha, but it's going with no woman. No, no, do you, do you know what a car represents, though? The car represents Kuti, we're no longer riding the same ride to town. I'm different from you. I don't know to I don't know But I'm just saying, no one will respect you. If you just say, I've got a house, oh, I'm so family motor. Hey, I want a motor. I want a motor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, yeah. mm, for, for, for a little bit, I've, I've faced that. I've never really wanted to say to people, look, I have a car. I've, I was never the guy to say that. Right. right. I was never. The, but now that people are so into it, but. From my experience, I have noticed when people think of you now have so much and they can't call you Mfana, they treat you differently and they are not Zogar or Mashur and Bichana. When they can call you Mfana, they say, Oh, I'm going to stand up. Oh, 50, I don't take a drink. I don't take a drink. I'm going to stand up. I've got a drop top outside. I'm going to. I have a five and a. 
So I've, I've always been quiet about about things. Even you know, when I, I had like what three, four accidents, I've had those cars, but I never posted them. Got you. So I've always been like that. Now when you're and two, and when I keep telling people to know the humble, and I've done songs with humble, I say, ah, humble. I have so much to talk about and to brag about, but you've never had me. Right. Uh, so that that's always been me, and no one knows my story from where I am. And, and two nights we imba guti guys, and this is me ne rangu bandri botsano. And I say to look guys, I am fine. I am okay. Don't worry about me. Do you? Ona, because when you venil ga dogu zenya yangu ga, just get a cash record. I'm not saying we got millions. We we've just gotten a dollar that we didn't have. Oh, I like that. Uh, I like that. I like that concept. Cash. I, I like that uh, concept. So. People didn't understand, but then now I made them believe that Tazura Cash was like some 20 guys running around rapping and doing all what, and people wanted to be associated because I had gotten that from Chamembe. Good to know, people want to belong to something. Mm. So I was the first one to have a click out on ID. Put Tazura Cash records on Coxina, and I'll still say I was the first on it. Then that's why I always used to say we lead and the rest follow. So, so what do you think was the legacy of just that Chamembe era? Because it was just the peak of some of the most... It, it brought people together. It brought people together. It brought people together because I remember the same way you back then used to find a dancehall poster. That's how the Urban Rose poster was like. Like we would send someone to Bulawayo and say, you, we want to have a show. To two million Bulawayo or to better an Urban Rose artist. And they Shaman in Tengero drink. I remember one time, I took me to Changa, Changa, Bell Blues, Tata Wungan Zamaritis, and I took Shizana to Chichi Extra Large, oh, my freak, oh, my rain, Chichi, and Samari, Munarunanga, the poster, you eat, Wumanzi, Eben Grues, and Guer. And when White was the out here. And Wungana, the only problem now, how that died, I'll tell you. <laughs> ah, it's, it's, it's crazy. You see, money, they say money is the root of all evil, and it's true. Right, let's say we've made uh, a thousand bucks. There's seven artists or seven groups, right? So there was extra large in there. There was Mafreak, there was Trinity, Rocky, XQ, Stana. I don't know who else would think of Sniper or whatever, mm. right? So now... Terrai maybe? Terrai maybe. Papu a thousand dollars. Tutanga Tatichi, right? Saka, why, 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 why? Tishin the down, breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down. So now, Tazo Shigot, Pane Trinity, Pane Mafrik. Tuna kwa apa wire, wa renew wire. Ah, boy, it's quiz street three, guys. Ayo, man, but in Mafrik. Mwiri Mafrik. Tuna kwa wire, Mafrik. Tupa wire, LXQ. Tupa wire. So, wanan, now, I had a problem. I respect extra large, because they've held their own, and they're still a group. But, Jaka Brega, my group of Mm. Mm. Then Tunga actually said, because money always used to be split three ways. So, you weren't really given much, but because you know, we're thinking to these guys are making money, there's money to be made. But now, Tabuda, Tani Squad, still my lady rungo split. So that, that, that broke a lot of guys up and it, it was really tricky. You had to do, go the extra mile. Okay, fine, we can do a show to the TSA, but I can also do a show by myself. That's true. Mm. So I, th I think it's August of 2004, right? Uh, school holidays. But I, I have no idea where to watch these guys perform. Number one, and I, can, uh, I remember people, uh, if I'm not mistaken, people used to do a lot of shows by Sports Diner uh, or I, d I don't know, yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. yeah, right. But I couldn't go there because it was a what? It was a, it was a club, it was a bar, and I was mm -hmm. only what, 14? <coughs> right? At the time. So I really want to watch these guys. Then I hear Papawa FM, which is going to be broadcasting live from Kusho NG. Uh, artists are going to be passing by G -G -G. then they announced with no Chamembe is going to be coming to what uh, See, it was never it was Chamembe is coming. Chamembe is coming but here's the thing so your idea of Chamembe because there was a time when people were shouting out 
Chamembe in records. It, it, uh, it was also the record. Chamembe. To win the Chamembe. Doctora to win the Chamembe. And Chamembe became like a but, metaphor. But if you pause on that, the people that actually sang those anthems never got big. That's true. It's, it's just it was crazy. See, that, that, that's the thing about. But what happened to those to those to those girls uh, who sang the Chamembe record? That that house record. You have to have a plan. You have to have a plan. Like, what am I going to do next? Right. Some people take it for granted, Woody, and you know, go on and people are going to come to me, and it's not always like that. There's always someone better coming. That's true. You know, there's always someone when you do something. After this interview, there's going to be someone that says, yeah, "Oh, I'm a better interview than that guy. I should do my own thing as well." Mm. Right. So, but if you relax, before you know it, as someone is doing it, I'm like, and then you call me up. You always do the sequel to the interview. I'm like, hey, pan pan um pan agapi goji achinta vianga chiloji. My big flip, chi chi chi. I think I'm gonna go with it. You know, it's a boat. <laughs> because you know what, you 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 refuse to to grow and to 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 change to do the next thing. Mm -hmm. right? So I think that's what happened. They sang, but they they didn't follow up mm. on what they were doing. They didn't reinvent themselves. It's just like when Sandra and Devilla did the splits. I don't know. She needed to do something else after that. So. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I'm but I'm I'm trying to get out of the chamembe umbrella, like how people branched out of it. So so between the, the problems, did they start before the second tape or in between the first and the second tape? People were given the reason uh, a reason or reasons to then make money. Cause look, okay, we've seen our mistakes from the first one. We did it this way. But let's do it again. Another This one. time will be better. <laughs> <laughs> this time it will be better. Let's do it again. Then we saw the vision like, yeah. And I was excited because this time I, I was going to have a song on it. Right. So when did you have a song on the second one? I, I've got a song on the second one, I think. Plus. And I think you do, actually. I do, I do, I do. With Trevor. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. With Trevor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I was gonna have oh, for, for me it was okay. I I just wanted to be out there. I wanted to be known because I had a plan. Which one was bigger, Chamembe one or two? One one was kind of big, and the second one, if you get someone's first album, if the album is good, you're probably gonna buy the second one. That's true. Right. You you might give up on them on the third, but you're definitely gonna get the second one. So they did well. That's when the guys got the cars now, and then everyone like, oh, you know, I know. <laughs> and then people started, you know, going in all sorts of places. So, so if if you were to look back uh, right now, are, are there certain people, for example, after that situation you just told me about of taking your music uh, through Junior Brown uh, and getting it to Metro? Uh, 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 what was the relationship like with you and Tech Five after that? I then told him what I'd done because I I've, I've paid for all my 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 music, and up to now I still pay. Each and every studio I get into, they might say, "Da yo, I'm da yo, I don't know." But yo, yo, this song might be big, and I don't want to owe you. <laughs> Here's your money. So I I paid. I told him, "Nah, no, the Torah machine, I'm going chi 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 chi." And I think that was the kind of last we worked, right? Until that's what's okay, and I wanted to do some other stuff, but still, I I was a paying customer, so. It was okay. We we don't have bad blood or anything. Right, right. But I sent my stuff out. My my stuff worked. I don't know the relationship. I wasn't busy, but they kept working. So yeah, it was fine. But did the bad boys of Shamembe ever come out? No, it didn't. Who were the bad boys of Shamembe? Because I've heard J Boss was there. J Boss was Junior there. Junior Brown was there. was there. I was there. And there were a couple of guys on Gadipo and a few and a reckless. Yeah, but it didn't come out because. When the idea came out, that's when but I'm like, yo, uh, uh -uh. I'm thinking I'm about to do my break, and then you're taking the songs. And so it didn't happen. And and, and you then released a, one of my favorite albums, Body of Work Wise, after that. Uh, the song that uh, with Song Yangu and all of these records with Duff Correras and all that. Was it the song, same album? Song, song Yangu, wasn't it on Timombe? I think it was on Timombe. It, it, it didn't come out because I remember the Timombe was it the one with the skit, with the Junior Brown skit? Junior the Brown Kudara. was on all of them actually. The, no, the Kudara. Kudara must have been Timombe. It's Timombe. Yeah. Ah, Timombe was a fan of Pata. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So that's why I had that, that relationship with Breezy like that. So Timombe was which year? 2008? 9? I don't even remember. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. 
I don't remember. I do not remember. Tim Wombe. 2008. It should be 2008. Yeah, Tim Wombe was a funny story, actually, because I remember this dirty, this dirty little boy coming to the studio. I think it was, it was some studio. I can't remember which studio. And I was saying, ah, Dita, your music, Chichin, Luka Drama, Beats, what all. And then we were like, ah, yeah, sha, sha, eh, Bumira, sha, Budena, Nunyo, sha, and our Chichi, they just lay it out. It was really dirty and scruffy. Right, so I jump out, I'm like, ah, Omba, I chi, Unza, Rosh, Pinam, Boys, is a day, so Chichi, you know, Tarana, to find another way. But anyway, what do you do? Ah, no, as long as the Ragube, ah, no, as the Rosh Tung is over, Chichi, oh, Unza, and his guns, and Unza, Cubis. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, yeah. Don't see, don't see coupes. What? 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 Then my husband said, ah, but two meter or something. I don't know, I can't remember what Jai two meter was saying then. I think Jai Swa, some SoundCloud, MySpace or what, and then you had to go and you download it from there. Ones were. So my two meter beats, and they did a beat and did not run like a zero. I had nothing, did it on zero. Then I got to get up again. Then I started writing. I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. And then that's when I wrote Team on there. And I needed to go to the studio because I felt this was fire, it was really hot. When I run in Glenora Park, my pranga, my kuru, my kombi, my shtungiza. Then I'm like, when I face him, I'm a shiga, I'm a mira bebe, I'm a na. Some Muindi guy was looking very friendly. Then I got up to him, I'm like, ah, sha, I'm going in she. Then do he even didn't even get in that? I didn't know all that. But when I'm talking in she, when I saw that shtungiza, she. And then I cheering. And then I cheering. She, that I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna scoop a card from a bebe. What kind of bagado? Yeah. But you know, Zanu didn't style. Come on, man. But you know, didn't style. I'm like, style. Style didn't. Like you know, so we did team on the bar. It was really deep. The raw fast boys. Now she got on dinner. She didn't do my bars. I'm going to say one thing. But we didn't same same thing. We didn't have a hook guy. If I go see after Jadar, but my bar my face I'm going to go under. Can't tell us. Team started. She tell us you. But then what the the Rihanna item? My eye. Eh, it's got ah. Got them ready, them ready. So sorry, guys. Chongo na kizwa na shu. Got it. Say, pa live your life. Eh, but I just say, my face is angry. Kunza ya anga sara. Kunza na nyora hobo. But I just say, pa live your life. Manda manda ba ya. So I said, just don't be so serious. But I don't want to go to the radio. My face is so excited. I want to go to the. Stana, squeeze the chichi in the pussy. I don't know. You didn't see the pussy moonies get that squeeze and you got. And you squeeze it away. And I'll try to walk to a man and you buy candy, chichi, chichi, to Benero, chichi. But what do I want? Record and Tony knows. I don't know the Arab for not the album. She recorded as much in the chichi. Then still, I didn't make money. People think I made tons of money, but. Uh, but but what was still there? Uh, w one of the key key things about that moment was the fact that you were beefing with Maskiri. Uh, you both of your guys were kuchamembe. Uh, 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 what could have possibly gone wrong between you and Maskiri? Because you were always was, picking on the guy. He was the rapper. Then, like what I was telling you. Then I came through. He was fast and uh, so then I I came with the whole chill that I don't know how I was rap. I don't know which songs I was doing then. Mm. So I came with something that was more audible, and I had the swagger. You know, you could put me up there, and I, I just represent. Cause coming from where we said, ah, now he's not in a ginger white. So people are afraid of change. So no longer mum na dogu tori la life ya kuno so he just became bangu da karifika ge uti ano uta no uta shesha shukuti ah so jaraf kala za. Those people end up fighting, but they don't even know what they're fighting for. Because they were looking from the outside in. Because these guys were brothers. Same chamembe, what, 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 what. I was there when I was singing Tambu. You was there in Drukma Shure. Tambu was a vibe, though. I'm the guy that was behind going, Nuri, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
it, 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 that, that is not the answer for me. And it's like, why do you want to do it? So I was there watching, because I can tell you, I can see a, an artist. And told her, we know by two years, we, we know by G -G -G, because I see the direction and what they're rushing to achieve before they perfect the things. Like, what game is not a foundation. That's what most of these guys are doing now. Sooner or later, it's going to fall, it's going to crack. Mm. Mm. So, and I always tell people, like, yo, I do not need certain people. I had, at a time where I beefed with newspaper, I beefed with radio, and I said, look, I, I now have the X amount of people watching me. I can go online and play my, my songs every day, and I'm sure I'll have listenership. That's true. Um, I will still move myself. I can always just be scandalous on, on social media and <laughs> you have no choice but to write about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and to get a song, I think, I don't know, I, I made sure it didn't go far. It, it blasted the whole of, uh, the whole of H Metro then. <laughs> I, I don't know if you heard it. I, I, I want to say, I want to say I was young. Uh, this was after, after the sex tape. Mm, I figured. So, they, they kept printing and printing and printing. I was like, yo, this is not normal. Come on, guys. Until I did this one. <laughs> so it was, it, it was a huge diss song. It's something that I could do. Like, even now, I laugh when someone says, but it, 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 this song, I'm like, yo, this is what made me. I'm the guy that sat in front of a national television. Uh, could, could it be? Because yeah. I remember, what I, do you know? Can I tell you my first experience with Ameno? And what a girl. Mm -hmm. But TV, Rim HICC, XQ comes on. Uh, he raps one or two, so he says, Yo, I want to bring out my man Stunner, right? Stunner comes through, uh, raps, 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 right? He says, There's a new record though. XQ starts doing the la 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 la. Actually, okay, XQ said. XQ said, You were seated by the child, you started doing the la. I was like, Okay. And you started going at everybody. It was the first time we'd ever heard anyone doing that. So no, no, that's, what, that's what I'm saying, like, I, I, I collected so much, I have so much in my net right now, that I, if I could manage an artist right now, that person would blow with the right, right mindset. They'll blow, and I've done that. I've got Trevor, I had Anamunum Tema, I had even Breezy, Breezy produced, and then he sang, but then he, I, I can't do direction, okay. A lot of people, Actually, in excited we do when we called ourselves to the cash and stuff. But it's it's about collecting and saying. And I could name a few lighters that are there right now. But no attitude, yagi. I'm like, dude, Zimbabwe is just a big ghetto. You might be staying in Borodo right now, but everybody that's in Borodo, have a few and in chi 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 chi. So I'm moving my salad like that. Can I do my water? And and ruins this season. So, chill. You still need Mpano, Instead of you Sandu, you know, 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 you you need somebody to speak for you like that. Because why don't you want to trace TV, chi chi chi, thinking with all these artists, they're just rolling their window halfway and then they go like this and then they put it back up. You're lying to yourself because you're nothing without the people. But now most of these guys that come up now, they think, really, I've made it, I'm supposed to have this status where the girls are going to come screaming for me. Or, no, they, they don't scream for you. Some people, they can't even have girls scream for them because of the names that they've chosen. Because <laughs> certain names of artists that are there right now, Ashtanga Music, uh, oh my God, scream leaf! <laughs> your name just killed your career. Uh. <laughs> you know, so but people don't 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 put that. Mm, so I know XQ had a whole list of names. I had a whole list of names. I, I actually I had to move to Stana because I want to call myself Chishamiso, but I'm like it doesn't work. Mm. But Chishamiso, she just gotta say because you want to come with something there, but, but I can be stunning. I am Stana. Then I told them then dance go that number one Stana, but I didn't even know. That was the youngs when I choose a Stana we need. On. So that way, and I've never been a fan of outside music. From the last time I listened to uh, Biggie, Park, uh, Kate Murray, and Ice Cube, and them, I never evolved to any other artist because I, I keep thinking if. <coughs>
I can't, if I want to be better than you, I can't be your fan. Because the second I start idolizing you, if you can come to 10, I'm only going to come to 10 as well and wait for you to get to 11. Mm, gotcha. so, so that's always been me. And even when I did my song, Humble, you know, I was like, ah, Kendrick, I'm going to humble. Why did I tell you, I'm going to humble. Why did I tell you, I'm going to humble. I did Tim Wombe. I'm going to say it now. If you listen to Buffalo Soldiers' first song, I tell you, it's Tim Wombe. Because... I've always decided to go to Umberi, to start Zaitiga. But now, I'm going to go to the trip, to the trip, to the trip, to the trip. Like right now, I did a song called Sugar Daddy. It's part of an experiment. But it's part of an experiment, right? And I, I did a gig last night, and people were like, yeah, the old standard, old standard. I was like, yeah, you want the old standard, but you also want me to evolve. That's true. I, I don't know how that works. So I'm trying to find a place between the future and the history. I like how you ended it, that you're trying to find the place between... Because <coughs> when the album came out in 1999, it was called The Future. But if you look now in 2020, 21 years later, we're now into the future and we look back then, that future album is now history. But if we're going to move to the future, we need to marry the two. And thank you for doing that so perfectly. That's, that's, that's what I've been trying to do. But as a country, we've always been afraid of change. That is true. Yeah, so it's going to be difficult for us. So until this is this is where corporates need to come in because uh, we're a country. You know, we are so learned, but by thinking that, I turn out what is to so behind by where, because the knowledge of now is not quadratic equations of knowing the biochemistry of what 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 what. It's not that. It's just about being street wise. Do you know your social media and what? That's how you will find my titties making so much money with Raman Aradiz, ABC or whatever. Right. So, our corporates, they need to come in because Zimbabweans will only appreciate Ja Prezer because he's done a song with Davido, he's done a song with Patrick Ranking, he's done a song with... And they're like, ah, Sarara Ipa. Ipa because my mona and mono are out there. Mm. So, if an artist is not going to get out there, I can, if I go out there, they will appreciate Sugar Daddy. Good to know. Because in this time, I'm going to Mufasa. Saka, Chaka Pinga, it is. Fantastic video, by the way. No, Brinze, thank you. Mm, thank, fantastic thank video. You, thank Go you check much. it out. Uh, yeah. Fantastic video, Sugar Daddy. I, I had people come through to help with that, with that video. But I'm just saying, from where we were, what made Chamembe big? Because there was help. How come Everybody mm -hmm. helped each other. Very people, few people made music videos during that time. We didn't know about it. And you'll find that. Uh, most of my music from back then is not online because we didn't know about that. All right. But there was some sort of help coming in each end of stable for all that to happen. Mm. Right. So even now, the music that we try and follow, like Americans and what, or what their music is supported by the drug related monies and whatnot and whatnot. It's a washing machine. It, it, it's basically a washing machine. That's why it does not happen like that. I can't even walk to Croco Motors and say, I'm standing, I need a car. That's the country that we're in. So when you find a Zimbabwean artist and still singing, he's doing it for the love. People need to respect that guy or that lady that or true. whatever. They're doing it for the love because they don't get the respect or the money they're supposed to get. They don't, they're, they're not getting their works, uh, whatever. Stana, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Uh, I always enjoy a good chat with you. That, that's for a fact. Uh, it's, it's always a good laugh. It's always, it's always rich. And thank you for that. And yeah, thank you, guys thank you for you. the 15, 16 years of just giving us just some dope records and still, dope we, we, entertainment. We've only, we've only just started. I, I, just, I, I just turned a year older, like, what, three days ago? Right. So my, my life has just begun and I checked out, oh, Jeezy there, you know, this <laughs> life begins at 40. <laughs> he's, just, he's just come up and he's going, <laughs> people don't know Jeezy, but Jeezy's from the group Trinity, from yes, Chamembe. from Chamembe. Yeah, That's right. why we need to so tell this they, story. They, they, don't, they don't know about people like that. They've got experience. And he said something that we always laugh and joke about, you know, when we're having our drinks and stuff like, yo, you need to have the bounce. For this music it's not just the story because you can write something I, I mentioned that your name can end your career your voice can do the same as well <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious <laughs> Bruh, give, give me an example what? I, no, I, 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 let me talk about me first do you know that I sat with a girl uh, whose name I won't mention but 
we decided on what voice to use. If you can listen to my first, if you listen to my first album, my voice was not as deep as it was then when I started doing. When I, in fact, when I recorded Timombe, that's when my voice changed. It was intentional. It was intentional because I knew I had to. You cannot command people to say, <laughs> "Enjoy a guy." People are going to laugh at you. But if you do some uh, boys down, uh, so when you're rapping, you need to be in a position of command. Uh, okay, so let's let's just lay it bare. Are, are you saying? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just I don't know, I don't know what you're saying. But no, I'm, just, I'm saying I'm one of the reasons, uh, for example, Noble Styles is getting smoked. For example, if you go through the comments, you hear people saying, "Ah, but Bounce are Muna King." I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He he needs to study the uh, well. I call it the Harare Bounce. I'm from Harare. So he, he's from a string that's coming to her. You need to start at the bounce. And I'm going to say this because it's something that you can fix. Maybe nobody, no one has told him. You basically just take your voice and then whatever you're recording, you put a deeper voice. Same thing, deeper voice underneath. You match the two. You've got a new voice that you can then learn to adapt and then you'll find a different voice. Or you can just think Macheso and you think Sulu. In your head, you imagine if you combine the both of them, what kind of voice is going to come out? You can run with it. You know what? Too, too late, you could have used that for the next diss song, but it's already late. But No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to... No, my comfort he zone. could have used but, it for the next diss song. <laughs> but, 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 but I'm just too. saying, those but, are things that... I'm, I'm, I'm happy to just sit with somebody and talk about things and give knowledge. Before, he was out there, all guns blazing for me. And I looked at him like, dude, I'm the same guy that used to pull you out every time and say, yo, you can rap, come up, come and rap. Even when he didn't want to, every time like, yo, come up, there's this guy, you guys don't know him, come up and rap. And then the next thing, you want to talk about me. Like, wow, I'm not going to, I'm not going to battle you, I'm not going to diss you. Because I, I, what kind of father am I going to be? That's true. All right. So I, I don't want to do that. I, I, I can write these songs. That is what I do. That is what brought me there. Mm. And so, but it's all the same, man. Hey, Jesus guns blazing. He's guns blazing. He's got a reply coming through. However it's going to go, all I can say is that there can only be one like Jet Li. One of them's career is going to end. That's how Zimbabwe is like. Zimbabwe will say, October, which is not good for hip-hop. That's why it, it will it, never grow. It, it happened for Daddy Distress. Winky D smoked the guy. Yeah. He never came and, back. And I was telling people that, you know, hip-hop is not going to grow if they keep doing that and these bloggers and what, they continue to kill the genre because you never know Ashoma and it's the most difficult genre because you gotta have this bottle. You gotta have that car. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta have the woman. And it, let me say, noble styles. And when he comes out and saying for the culture, for the culture, like, dude, what are you really saying for the culture? Because we need to see your bad bitch. We need to see you popping them bottles, not somebody buying you bottles or whatever. The threads. We need to see the threads. We need to see you speaking. We need to hear the language. We need to see you in the streets. That is the culture. So you can't just say culture is dissing people. No, it's not. So if you're going to come up to me and you say, yo, for the culture, I'm like, bro, man, yo, so what are we doing? <laughs> that is the... And I'll start saying, dude, you ain't never been arrested, blood. I've never seen you roll in a joint or, or in a fight. <laughs> you want to talk hip-hop right now? Or maybe not a fight. You been bitter enough though according to the district okay according to the district he's been bitten up so what culture do you, do you want to talk about be nice be nice no I, I'm, I'm an honest person you see so when i record songs i, I did i did that trick when jerry randonan gemsala de gutara jano lava jigan de baranzi it's just real talk it's always been real talk with me so when i deliver the people they can relate to it gotcha all right but yo if you want to go for the culture Go all the way, that's all I'm saying. My name is Stana. People, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, Tazira Cash Records. We lead and the rest follow. We're going to be here until the year 3000, like Didi said. Yeah. Stana, good looking mm. out. I appreciate you, man.